Howdy folks, I'm Eric Williams and welcome to CapeCast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times. Today we're high on the bluffs in North Truro at the Provincetown Center for Coastal Studies Wave Observation Lab. You know, we've been concerned about erosion lately. It seems we're losing stairs and beach access to this hungry ocean. So today we decided to find out all about erosion. CapeCast. Well, Dr. Geis, we're here to just maybe assure people that the world isn't falling into the ocean. It's been kind of a rough winter, it seems, in an erosion sense, particularly on the Outer Cape. What's going on out there right now? Well, it's wintertime, and so in the wintertime we tend to have storms, uh, and we tend to have um, erosion. Uh, and when we have storms uh, coupled with a really high tide, which is what we had a couple of weeks ago, we have a lot of erosion. So uh, you're absolutely right. We've got, um, got a lot going on. We have bluffs being undercut and slumping. Uh, we have dunes that are being undercut and also sometimes overwashed as well. And um, stairs uh, that are, are no longer functional. Uh, but we expect that in the wintertime. Uh, it's an unusual winter in the sense that it's been stormy than usual. Uh, I say unusual, I don't mean in a once in a century, but uh, Every five years or so, we get a very stormy winter like this. And erosion is always hungry, not just on the Outer Cape, but look at here, Payne's Creek Landing in Brewster, one of the great places to park and eat your lunch and walk around. Oh man, erosion trouble has AmeriCorps volunteers out here replenishing the landing area with sandbags. Watch out for erosion. So out of this turmoil and, uh, and, and the feeling that I get of sort of nervousness sometimes in the winter at the beach, we can hope for and expect to see a refurbished, replenished beach ready for summer, maybe. Well, that's right. The sand, it will come back. In fact, it hasn't gone very far. It's, uh, it's in the system. How long do we have, Dr. Geis, here on Cape Cod, geologically speaking? Oh, for hundreds of years, uh, at, least, at least the last hundred years, uh, geologists have typically spoken in terms of the lifespan of Cape Cod being about 10,000 years. Of course we can't put a number on it. Um, uh, certainly I, we, no one can imagine it disappearing in less than a thousand years, several thousand years. Hardly anybody can imagine it lasting a hundred thousand years. So 10,000 years isn't a hard number, but what, it, what they're saying is that it is not um, in its final resting place. It's loose material on a continental shelf. Cape Cass. 